up YouTube man back with another banker video man in today's topic we're gonna be talking about stop complaining and making excuses and find a, a find a solution for your problem a lot of you guys you guys complain and make excuses and wonder why you ain't getting nowhere in life wonder why you still average wonder why you still in the same spot that you was yesterday I'm gonna let you I'm going to let you guys know right now, bro, you need to start finding solutions for problems that come your way. There's always going to be fucking problems. Everybody has problems. The only ones that's going to make it is the ones that's going to find a solution for their problems. Not the guys that complain and make excuses and thinking somebody's going to come save them and feel sorry for them. I'm going to let you know right now that that's not it, bro. It's not it. That That's not the answer. That's never going to be the fucking answer. Are you going to take on these problems and find a solution and try to make your life better and try to fix things on your own? Or are you going to just go sit there and complain and make excuses and tell everybody your problems thinking somebody's going to feel sorry for you? Imagine the conversations you had when you did complain and made excuses and telling everybody your problems. And what was their response when you was doing that? Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. For real? Damn. Wow, bro. Oh, then she broke your heart. Damn, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Everybody goes through these problems too, dog. Everybody go through tragic problems. Life is all about problems and solutions and choices. Choices are the solutions. What type of choices you gonna make for that problem to live a better life? To come out here and, and be high value. What are you go what type of choices are you gonna make, bro? Complaining, complaining and making excuses is not the answer. It's never been the answer. When your bills, when you behind on bills and stuff like that, your landlords knocking on your door wanting that rent money, what you gonna do? Are you gonna sit there like, yeah, bro, like my job cut my hours and and I can't do nothing about it? Shit, well go find another job. Go pick up a second job. Go out there and do Uber, Uber Eats, do something. You want to know why a lot of people just stuck like that? They 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 always make excuses, complaints because they don't want to put in the work. That that's the real answer for them. They don't want to say that. Like they don't want to say that verbally. They don't want to blur that out. Blur that out. It's the, it's the putting in the work. I don't want to put in the work. You don't want to really want to tell people the, the real truth. A lot of you guys that complain and make excuses, tell people the real truth. Now nah, it's not fucking hard. It's because I don't want to put in the work, bro. Because if you say that, then you you go look, you go feel miserable. They go look at you like you miserable. Like, damn, this nigga don't even want to fucking work. Yeah, you don't want to put in the fucking work. That's your problem. That's a lot of you guys' problem. Not put in the work. It's too hard. You want to stay in the comfort zone and you wonder why you ain't getting no results. You ain't going to get no fucking results staying in the same spot, doing the same shit. You got to start doing things you never did before. Things that you never thought you could do. That's when you go start seeing results. That's when you go start elevating your life. That's when you go start becoming better. You ain't going to never become better staying at the same spot. The person beside you is sitting there doing things that's going to better him, doing different things. Oh, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to go to the gym. I need to start working on my arms and doing this machine instead. I need to do more reps and more sets on this. I need to eat better. I need to change my diet every, every so often. When you start changing things and start doing different things, that's when you're going to see different results. You sitting there playing the same same game on easy mode you go always get those uncommon rewards but the moment you change that difficulty into hard hardcore difficulty on the game that's when you go start seeing rares exotics you go start seeing purple and gold weapons and armor because you change the difficulty you doing something that's uncomfortable. A lot, a lot of people ain't go play it on hard. A lot of people want to play it on easy because it's just simple. It's easy. It's easy as fuck. They can get through it. But them playing on hard, yeah, it's gonna be challenges. The boss is gonna have two health bars 
Oh, and so what? What you want to do? Level up your gear. Grind. Farm harder. Farm from better armor. Farm, farm from better uh, farm from better weapons and shit like that. Not a lot of people want to do that. Not a lot of people want to take that extra time, that extra mile to do that shit. So, yeah, a lot of people will put their life on easy mode. Oh, yeah, I'm going to just stay at this one job, bro. Just stay at this apartment. I'm good, bro. I'm going to live like this the rest of my life. Instead of just like, you know what? I'm going to work this job, get an apartment, pick up another job, start investing in some type of business, start working out so I can have a better, healthier life. I can have a great physique. I can feel better. Let me start doing things that, that other people don't do, that average people just don't do, so I can just pass them. Let me think about getting a house now. Let me start building that up. Let me start getting a new car now. Let me start building up my my finances. So that way I don't have to worry about bills. Everything's going to be paid and I'm going to be good. I'm going to have a strong savings account. I can start investing in stock portfolios. I can start paying my car notes. Let me start leveling up all of this. When you start label things like that and you start to realize what you need to level up each and every day, that's when you're going to start fucking seeing results. That's when you're going to start finding the solution for your problem. It was like, okay, I need to get better in, in these certain areas right here. These are these are the areas that I need to get better at. Cause these, if I level this up, now I'll find a solution on my problems. A lot of you guys, you guys have problems where you can find a solution easily, but it's just it, you just don't want to put in the work. Damn man, to pay off this car debt, bro, I'm gonna have to work four, five, six months. Okay, let me go ahead and knock it out. Let me pick up the second job. Get four hours of sleep, man. Fuck it, I'm young. Let me go ahead and do that. That's what I had to went through. I had two fucking loans, bro. A seven thousand and a six thousand, close to a fourteen k, uh, fourteen k total loan. I told myself, okay, bro, this job paid me this. Okay, and now I gotta find me a second job, so that way I can, you know, pay this car faster because the bank wouldn't give me another loan. Because I was already maxed out on two loans. So I had no fucking car. I either had to Uber to work both of my jobs. I either had to go drive my dad's old truck. And I had to grind, put my head down. And I was going through a fucking heartbreak. A major heartbreak. She left me because I didn't have nothing. So guess what, bro? I had to, I had to get out the depression. I had to get out the anxiety. I had to force myself and be like, bro, if I don't get out of this filthiness life that I'm in right now, bro, I'm never going to change. I'm never going to live a better life. So I said, bro, I'm scared to do this. I know it's going to take a lot, but I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to I'm gonna have to sacrifice the sleep time. Four hours of sleep. Working 20 hours, both jobs, 10 hours each. One of them 12, the other one probably like fucking eight. You know what I'm saying? I did whatever I did to get out my debt and, and get a uh, get a car. And then I got a nice car at that. Because I put in even more hours after I paid the debt and kept going and put a good payment on the nice car I got. But you have to really find a solution for your problem. You can't just sit there and complain and make excuses. Thinking somebody's going to save you because nobody's not going to come out here and save you, bro. They're not. You got to find a solution. Okay. All right, bro. I'm going through this right now in life. How can I overcome this problem? What I can do? You got to start making moves in your life. You can't just stand there. You got to start moving around. You got to start you got to start attacking these goals. You got to start attacking the problems that's trying to attack you and find a solution for them shit. That's what's going to make you stronger. That's what's going to make you better. That's what's going to make you a fucking man. You can't sit there and feel sorry because like, the more you keep feeling sorry, the worse and worse it's going to get because you still going to be stuck in these problems. These friends is holding you back. Get the fuck away from them. Cut them off. I don't care what, how they feel and what they think. Cut them off. That girl is not bringing you some sort of type of value. Break up with her. Break up with her and move on. Find somebody better. Find somebody who's going to qualify you better. 
that's gonna bring some sort of top volume. That job just don't don't like you, and they cutting your hours or they doing anything to try to get you fired. Then find another job, bro. Find another job that's gonna respect you. There's hella other jobs out here. Or start a fucking business. Or if you always want to start a YouTube, start a fucking YouTube. Start now. Dang, bro. Like, how am I going to go start YouTube? Your solution is by starting YouTube. I don't care if you got a camera or not. Use your fucking phone. You got to start somewhere. It don't have to be perfect for you to start. Find your solution by starting YouTube. Okay, let me just go ahead and start right now. Let me go ahead and put these videos up. And when my views and stuff go up, my subscribers start going up. And I'm making some type of income, some type of revenue. Then I can start investing back into my YouTube channel. Where I can get a camera. Where I can edit, uh, make better edit quality. That's how you need to think. That's how you can find solution on your problems. It's by breaking down the problem and figure out what you need to work towards to find a solution, man. 